right, Evan Ginsberg back with another edition of Evan Ginsberg's Legends TV. And we are honored to have a uh, plethora of great guests today. We have Speedo, Harmonica Jones, and a tremendous blues band, as well as the stars of the WWO, WWO the World Wrestling Organization, the Intruders, as well as Hawaii Allen after uh, this uh, first uh, interview segment. And folks, uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce my co-host, Steve Ludwig, from Classic Pop Culture Radio. Thank you, Evan. It's great to be here. Man, what a rehearsals today were fantastic. The rehearsal wait, was wait like a hear. concert. This is a concert in itself. I can't wait for the, for the live set okay. and for, the, you know, for those tough wrestlers to come out. I might have to put them in place, but, you know. That's right. We have masked wrestlers coming out later, right. so yeah. that's going to be colorful also. Yeah. But first, we have a legend in the blues community. He's just back from a European tour, Speedo Harmonica Jones. How are you, sir? It's a pleasure to be here, Evan. There you go. Yes. There you go. And tell us about your cap there. Oh, uh, I'm also a big fan of trolley buses, and uh, that's a Boston trolley bus. I made it up for a friend of mine that works up there. Okay, okay. And another incarnation, I work for the Transit Authority. All right, and we have a mutual friend, Daniel Everett, who uh, is a huge fan and supporter of yours, and uh, he's one of my dearest friends, and he's also a uh, transit conductor for that's the That's where MTA. I met him, yes. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, his mom passed um, several days ago, and we're going to dedicate this show to the memory of Barbara Everett. And later, we're going to have a moment of silence, and you're going to play a little yeah, harmonica a little in honor of Barbara. her. Yes. But uh, we'll hold that off for just a bit. We want to get to know you first. Tell us a little about Speedo Harmonica Jones. Well, a great line was said by Anthony Guido, my guitar player, and Anthony said, I'm the most famous unknown person you'll ever meet. <laughs> I've played with everybody. You know, I've played with Savoy Brown. I've played with the Climax Blues Band. I've played with Albert Collins. I've played with Matt Guitar Murphy, Charles Brown. Wow. And, but still nobody knows who I really am. So I used to see Albert Collins, the master of the telecast. I love that guy. What he a showman. He was the best. He what was a the showman. Best. Yeah. I have a record that I actually did with Albert Collins. It's on my own label, of course, so it's very hard to get it. But it is in print. All right. Well, later we're going to give out all your contact information yes. and tell people where to get all your music. But first, tell us about your recent tour. You were all over Europe? Uh, yeah, actually, I played in England. I played with Derek Holt from the Climax Blues Band. And uh, I had my own band in Sweden, so I did some uh, dates over there. And then I just came back from Texas. I played in um, Memphis and in Fort Worth and in Austin. I have a band down there, too. Wow. And I have a band up here. I have like three or four different bands, depending on the locale I'm working That's three at. or four more than we have. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So uh, I'm a huge fan of blues harmonica. I love James Cotton. One of the uh, best. One of my buddies is Felix Cabrera. Who Felix is great. Just he, He's been on the show twice, and he played with Edwin Vasquez on the show. And Edwin was uh, one of the men who performed on the CD for The Cape Man with Paul Simon and Mark Anthony. Amazing, amazing musician. So we combined uh, Latin jazz with blues, and somehow it works. So if it you always check works. out the archives, it always beautiful, works. beautiful, yeah. yeah. So uh, blues harmonica is, uh, it, it's an art form. It's it is, and the interesting thing is that my biggest influences are not harmonica players. Really? My well, biggest influences are saxophone players, and uh, the ultimate and the greatest saxophone player of all time is Red Prysock. And I'm going to so, open... Sonny Rollins would probably contest that, but... But it's different. <laughs> no, it's Red Prysock was a genius, because what he could do, he could play a one-minute solo with 10 minutes worth of ideas in it. Wow. And you mm -hmm. listen to it, you think you were listening to the song for 10 minutes, and you look at your watch, but it's only a minute. I love Dexter Gordon, the late, great Dexter Gordon. Beautiful and he was saxophone. great. And, yeah. and uh, a couple of other influences was King Curtis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, Clifford Scott, who did the original Honky Tonk with Bill Doggett in 1956. You ever see Big J McNeely? I did see Big J McNeely. I've seen him live at the San Francisco Blues Festival in 89. Yeah. And he'd be playing on his back, and he'd walk into the audience. And I saw Big J McNeely playing at Tramps. He walked out the door That's into, the, into the restaurant next door, started playing, <laughs> came back into the street, came back into Tramps. You know, there's a, funny, there's a funny story. Albert Collins would do that with the long court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one day, he was, well, I think it was in Houston, was, uh, one of the cities that has you know a big ghetto. He walks out there, and he re got arrested. <laughs> Got arrested. Right. Right. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. And, and Steve, you're a huge music fan. Who are your favorite saxophone players, harmonica players? Well, you know, I mean, um, you mentioned King Curtis. Yes. And uh, I'm a big Beatles fan. And now he played at the Beatles at Shea Stadium. Uh, King Curtis, you know, I, th that's the one that I really think of. But, you know, it's funny you mentioned Speedo that just played with Savoy Brown. And um, I'm going to interview Kim Simmons. 
and, uh, a good friend just, of mine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to mention you to him when I when I speak. Well, I think he knows where I am. The last time I played with him was in Sweden. Oh, okay. Yeah, we both happened to have been in Sweden at the same time. So he's got a new CD out that he's uh, going to talk to us about on the, on the show. And you've had some incredible musicians on your radio show. Tell the listeners. A well, few musicians of them. too. But you know what I'm excited about, Evan? This Tuesday we have uh, from the legendary Munsters TV show, Butch Patrick. He played hey, Eddie Munster. Know. And Eddie he's got, I know he's got some great stories to share with us. But yeah, I've had uh, Tommy James on. Uh, Donovan is coming on in a few weeks. Uh, of course, now I can't think of anybody. Tommy Rowe, Little Anthony, Billy Bobby Paul. Vinton, Billy Paul, the great I Billy Paul. I love Billy Paul. Paul. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, can I do a little um, plugging? shameless plugging? Sure, sure. Uh, you know, we have a lovely T-shirt here, everyone, <laughs> that Evan, uh, if you go to legendstv.net, Get this beautiful T-shirt, Evan Ginsberg's Legends Radio and TV. And on the back, as you're walking away, people can look at uh, Steve Levy's classic pop culture. Going. And what's uh, the T-shirt you're wearing? Well, uh, actually, you know, Evan, I have uh, we have mutual fans in Australia, and a uh, great buddy of ours, Joe Mandica, he has the, initi uh, the Initiative CD, and you were kind enough to play his video on this show on your radio show on Wednesday nights. He's been on my uh, Tuesday show. And uh, he just wanted me to relay to you that he's, he's so appreciative of all that you've done for to get his music out to the U.S. And uh, this is uh, the Initiative CD. You can check it out on Facebook. And uh, Facebook.com backslash the Initiative JM. There Joe you Man. go. And shout, cool shout out to Jeff Brown in Australia, one of the most supportive people we have ever been honored to uh, know. Jeff Brown is just a true supporter of the arts. Oh, uh, we wouldn't have uh, met these people without Jeff, for sure. Okay, we want to make sure Steve could be heard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, I think you should show what's going on over Speedo, here. Speedo, please um, tell the viewers how they could get in touch with you and check out your music. Well, I'm still waiting to get our website up. I, of course, I'm on Facebook, and it says Speedo Harmonica Jones. And there's a number of stuff. And then, of course, YouTube. I have a lot of videos that I perform on YouTube. Again, just type in Speedo Harmonica Jones. You'll get gigs I did in England and in Texas and some of the oldest stuff I did that was archived. And, and any upcoming gigs you'd like to plug? Uh, at the moment, I don't have any. This one. This is the, uh, this is the big one. The big one. And I'm uh, worldwide audience, 78 countries, Legends TV. So, uh, and what we'd like to do now to wrap up this segment before we bring the wrestlers out, uh, would you be kind enough we want to do a moment of silence for Barbara Everett, um, uh, Danny's mom, who passed this week. Maybe you could do a little harmonica solo for us. I would be honored. And thank, you. Uh, thank you so much. This is dedicated to Barbara. Do you want to do the moment of silence first? Or? Uh, you, you could, the music could be the, the music moment could be of the silence. Moment? Okay. This is for you, Miss Everett. For nearly a decade, Evan Ginsberg's Legends Radio has featured interviews with the greatest names in the arts and sports. Heard worldwide at legendsradio.net, the program has featured these great musical legends, Ray Manzarek of the Doors, Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins, Judy Collins, Roberta Flack, and many more. Stars from movies, TV, and comedy have included Jenny McCarthy, Wayne Brady, 30 Rock's Judah Friedlander, Shelley Berman, Jackie the Joke Man Martling, David Allen Greer, and Paul Mooney. 
Stars of pro wrestling and MMA include Bruno San Martino, Rowdy Roddy Piper, superstar Billy Graham, and Frank Shamrock. Co-hosted by renowned journalist Dr. Mike Leno, Legends Radio is heard Wednesdays, 7 p.m. to 9.20 p.m. Eastern Standard. We are archived 24-7 with hundreds of hours of classic interviews. Legends Radio also features the best in indie music, showcasing talent deserving wider exposure. I'm a Brooklyn baby, don't forget the gravy. We are soldiers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Legends Radio. You missed it. Tune in Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. You missed the birth of your mother and father. Don't you dare miss Evan Ginsberg's Legends Radio. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Brooklyn's best locks in the hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Locky? That's right, Alan. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And before we introduce our next guest, I just want to let you know that next week we have another amazing show for you music lovers. We have So Soon and Majestic Originality, two great hip-hop artists, as well as actor-comedian Sherwin XL returning to the show and poet John Winnell. Poetry, acting, comedy, hip-hop next week right here on Legends TV. Check out our archives for great pro wrestling and great live music. And without further ado, we want to introduce intruder number two, Evan. Hawaii Allen, uh, <coughs> the mass Steve Ludwig, no, excuse me, intruder <laughs> number one. And I noticed first off that the two intruders are not sitting together. Is there some kind of issue here? We went our separate ways, this and that, you know. I'm, uh, I'm, I like the crowd. The crowd gets behind me and all that stuff. But him, he didn't want nothing to do with the crowd, so he went on his own. I went on my own. I'm working my way to the top. 
And that's it. You can ask him the rest of This isn't him. like a sibling rivalry, is it? Nothing at all. He just wants to start kissing babies, shaking hands, signing autographs. I'm into winning championships and taking my career to another level. If he wants to kiss babies, that's fine. Uh, it's okay. I'm fine with it. No, uh, no, no heat or nothing. Yeah, he could kiss babies, shake hands, hang out with guys like this over here, these little pretty boys that think they're, you know, yeah. these big stars. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. You, know, you didn't tell me when I was going to be co-host. I got to separate these guys. I, Sue, I love you. This might be the last time yeah. I see you, sweetheart. Why am I in the middle here? <clears throat> and Hawaii Allen, what's your take on all of this? I don't like him. Okay. No, not a nice guy, though. Okay. He's nicer. I think he nobody has, likes he him. He has the gold. He has the gold. And, like and who has this gold? Jason Knight. Jason Knight. Jason Knight. And Jason Knight is an ECW original. Yes. And a great pro, still in tremendous shape. And we're going to go to a promo of Jason Knight talking about the World Wrestling Organization's huge April 26th show right now. I want to make myself perfectly clear. I want you to understand that I never forgot where you and I come from. I also want you to understand that I remember very clearly when you became the heavyweight champion. That was my last night back in that company. I was fired and on my ass. You did nothing, absolutely nothing. I want you to know that to me, you're the same opportunistic kid from way back then. You're the type of a guy that when you get a push, your head gets as big as the room you're sitting in. And when you hit the dirt, you're meek, you're good, and you're righteous. You see, you may be able to fool the promoters you're definitely fooling the fans. You can probably fool your family, but you can't fool me because you are a leopard that does not change his spots. April 26th, where it all started in New York City at the Elks Lodge, where I helped you beat the great Sasuke and become the new sensation in the world of professional wrestling. It's you and I no DQ. This time he is a champion. You is a challenger. Now, you want to come in and take that away from me. So you need to glorify yourself yet another level. Please understand one thing. That night, you're facing a bloodthirsty piranha and I'm waiting for a raw piece of meat and that's going to be you. In fact, all these hardcore innovators and these icons that you've been wrestling around with as of late, they're going to seem like a ball of goldfish compared to me. I intend, <laughs> I intend to teach you a wrestling lesson in every single aspect. I intend to get my, my revenge. I intend to gain something that I did not have an opportunity to gain back in that company. I want you to understand that on that particular night, you and I are going all out. I also want you to understand that I'm no fool. I want you to understand that I know very well that you can beat me for that title. You can beat me for that title, but if you do, if you do, it's gonna come at a high price. Because if you do, you're walking away as the heavyweight champion but you will never be the same again. Blank. 
and we're back, folks. And I enjoy those old school promos, much like Arn Anderson and Jake Roberts and uh, Nick Bockwinkel, where they speak quietly and carry a big stick. Great, great, great Jason Knight and uh, very respected in the industry. Jason Knight against Just Incredible. That's quite a main event, guys. Yep, it is. It's going to be a good, good match that day. And who are you guys wrestling that night? Well, that night, they put me against, once again, one of these young punks that think that they could go right to the top without going through anybody, like, like say, 20, 25 guys. They want to get to the top, and his name is Justin Toxin. He doesn't have a chance. He's a great wrestler, but he does not have a chance. But he has the <clears throat> opportunity that night. I don't care if he takes this. It's not about this that night. What it's all about, if I could walk out of there and leave him laying there. He's going to be laying in that middle of the ring, and he's going to look up and know that he was in the ring with one of the deadliest wrestlers in the WWO, and that's the intruder number <laughs> one. And that's all I have to say about that. But wait, I would like to step it up a notch because Chris Michaels isn't here today. Do you notice that? I he's noticed not that. Here. I noticed that. The commissioner of the WWO is not here. I'm crying out to Chris Michaels right now today. I'm putting <laughs> out the challenge. It's me, Justin Toxic in a regular match. How the hell can I have a regular match? How can I really kick his ass on that show? How? Street fight. Anything goes. Let's do it. We already got the match signed. Let's do it. Great. Chris Michaels, hear me out. Sign the match. Anything goes. Street fight. Let's do it the right way. And then when he walks away, he can actually say he won the damn title. Chris Michaels, another respected veteran who's faced everybody. And he was in the archives here. At Legends TV as well. Well, he the, needs uh, to do the right thing. The Tiger Khan tribute. And Hawaii Allen, who are you wrestling April 26th? I'm wrestling this guy called Caveman. I know the Caveman. Yeah. I know the Caveman also. <laughs> I'm going to send him back to his cave. There That's you go. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. And then I'm coming for one of those golds. The, the Caveman, uh, he looks like he stepped out of a uh, million years BC with Raquel Wells. Hawaii <laughs> Allen, I'm showing my know age. your place <clears throat> in this company right now. I got the belt. You don't, okay? So you need, you need to know your place. Go back to the minor leagues, and when you work your way back up, you could go for one of these over here, okay? Because Jason Knight would whip you, and I would whip you. You done? Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. What are you, look at you guys, you. man. And Intruder 2, who are you wrestling? Right now, my match is up in the air. Right now, I don't know who, I don't know who I'm wrestling, but I'll find out the day when I go. But sooner or later, me and him are going to collide. Me and my former partner. All right. And speaking of great old pros, we have Damien Demento, who uh, has a promo for April 26th as well. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. If there's one thing I've learned through my 55 years, you do whatever you have to do to get yourself over. So come April 26th, when I step out from behind the curtain, whether I'm inside the ring or outside, whether I grab the microphone, I'm calling the shots. I don't give a crap what WWO management tries to tell me to do. So heed this little warning. And this goes to all the fans in attendance that night. This goes to WWO management. And this even goes to the boys in the locker room. Hold on to something tight, because it's going to be one bumpy ride. I said to myself... <coughs> This is the business we've chosen. It's not time to the man. Sure, I do. But, there's a man in business. So uh, it sounds like a tremendous card. And what are you guys going to do differently? I want to get serious for a moment. Um, there are so many indies out there. 95% of them fade away into oblivion. What are you guys going to do differently to sustain a successful promotion in 2014 in a tough economy? And well, can, uh, I would like to answer a sure. part of that there. Basically, the <clears throat> WWO right now, we're trying to get the fans back into the arena and not charge them $50 for a ticket, 
uh, and then add more money to like meet the wrestlers. It's a one set price, and they get to come in, they get to mingle with the wrestlers, hang out, take pictures. If you want to buy a few things, that's fine. But the main thing is is to get more in tune with the people and knowing that the economy isn't at its peak right now. So we have to work with that. And uh, but we want the fans there because without the fans, there is no WWO. I True. tell people all the time mm -hmm. that. Uh, minor League Baseball and Indie Wrestling are your greatest live entertainment values because at an Indie Wrestling show, you'll meet the wrestlers, take pictures with them, get autographs, you're up close and personal. At a WWE show, you're not going to get near any of the wrestlers. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's a great thing for parents to take their kids to. And is the show going to be fan-friendly? I mean, child-friendly, I should say. Yes. Well, it all depends how you look at it. No, it's yeah. going to be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> basically, you know, uh, you know, it's going to be hard hitting wrestling. That's one thing. It's not going to be, you know, uh, easy wrestling. It's hard workers. Uh, and but the main thing is, is the, the language. I mean, everybody knows that it's a family audience. And, you know, you don't I wouldn't want my son at the show hearing curse, you know, in the, in the sure. match. So that's like really the main thing. I mean, you have to, if you can't bring your grandma to the show, then guys don't do it, you know, right, if, you, right. if you can't bring. But truthfully, it is a, it's going to be a family show unless I punch his face in or his yeah. face in. Then, then it's, we, we have a different story. Security. We're security. <laughs> in the old days, they used to call cursing on the mic cheap heat. And, you know, I, grew, I grew up on Richard Pryor and uh, George Collin. Language never bothered me, but when you have little kids in the audience, you know, it, it really is not appropriate, I would say. So... I think it's a good idea to have a family-oriented show where everybody's welcome and, you know, you could still give everybody, you know, uh, you could have the wild brawling match, you could have the scientific match, you could have the comedy match. I think that's what makes a show when, when it's true, diverse true. and eclectic. True. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, any other highlights in the show you'd like to tell the viewers about briefly? Well, there's one, well, one thing I just want to bring out. Nobody has said anything uh, with Jason and Just Incredible. As you know, they have a, a history together, uh, the, the Impact players. They're no longer the Impact players. So Jason Knight is out to prove once and for all who is the better man. I mean, he's been in the, and if you watch the old videos and everything, he's always been in, in, the, uh, in the back shot. And then when Ju Just Incredible, he just had a, Jason Knight had to walk out at a company. Mm -hmm. He couldn't take it no more. But now he has his one opportunity that night to take out Credible. And I think he's going to do it. Where's Credible's promo? Where? Is he a chicken? Is he a chicken? I didn't get yeah. I don't see anything. Okay. So that goes to show you right there. Where is his? I don't see anything. You're, you're making Steve nervous. That, that uh, mask. You know, <laughs> Steve, yes. we need more security, Evan. I yes. told you. Yeah, I asked you that nicely this morning. And Intruders, you had nothing to do with the original Intruders who sang I'll Always Love My Mama, I'm assuming, and Cowboys maybe, maybe, and Girls. Maybe he did. Different Intruders, I'm yes. assuming. It's, yeah, <laughs> yes. totally different. Okay, okay, I, I thought so. So please tell the viewers how to get in touch with the WWO. And uh, April 26th, the Elks Lodge, Queens Boulevard, website, social media, please. It's, uh, basically, it's WWOProWrestling.org. Uh, and uh, you could go on there, you could see what's coming up. You can see wrestler highlights. We even, they even have a, uh, a WWO magazine, I believe, yes, uh, online yes. that it's free for the fans to download. So you get to see all the wrestlers' stats of, you know, who's doing what and who they're wrestling. And it's, you could uh, leave your email address, which I guess they'll email you and tell you when the next show's gonna be and keep you in contact. Uh, really, that's about it. If you wanna get tickets, uh, there's a couple of places. Um, that you could go, Rogue Magic and Fun Shop in Elmhurst. It's right from the Elks Club. And the other one is Royal Collectibles in, um, on Metropolitan Avenue in, uh, I think it's in Forest Hills. You could get tickets there or online, I believe. I don't okay. I, I think on the WWO website you could order the tickets. Or you could get it from this guy who's probably on the corner selling tickets over here for the show. This guy. What do you have you to say about that, Hawaii, Alan? I learned with time just to ignore stupid people. Okay, you know? <laughs> okay. Smart man, smart man. And on that happy note, like folks. Like said, young it, punks, they don't know nothing about the business, and they talk, 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 talk. Your segment's <laughs> over. Make any talk. In the words of the legendary Ernie Ladd, you missed the birth of your mother and father. Don't you dare miss April 26th at the Elks Lodge, the premiere of the WWO. And uh, that'll about do it. Thank you, gentlemen. The Thank Intruders, you, Hawaii you Allen. Thank you for appearing on Legends TV. You're welcome. Steve's breathing a sigh of relief. He uh, 
escape the unscathed. We will be right back with the great Speedo Harmonica Jones Band. Don't go anywhere, folks. My name is Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. We a vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. Find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy. Please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000. Or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. Hi, I'm Steve Ludwig. When I was 52 years old, I had quintuple open heart bypass surgery, and I wrote a book about it. It's called See You in CCU. Apart from having my rib cage sawed apart, I experienced temporary loss of memory, depression, and sleepless nights in unbearable pain. A lot of people might think there's nothing funny about that, but I think it all depends on how you look at it. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Speedo Harmonica Jones Band with the Speedo Harmonica Jones All Stars. <laughs>
That's a tune for Red Price I called Rockin' for Red. And this is a song that was written by the late great Johnny Otis, which featured Mighty Mouth Evans and Little Esther. And this is called the Double Crossing Blues. <laughs> Oh 
was written by the great Chris Yulden from Savoy Brown, and this song was never actually issued. It's an unreleased tune, and I dedicate this to my good friend Hans Alohag in Austin, Texas, who gave it to me, and this is called Making Out in the Street. Whoa. I just got to find it. Right now we're going to feature our two guitar players on this one, and uh, 
This is a song that hopefully will never be a true story. This is called The Coffee Break is Over. <laughs> Bleep, bleep. 
do Carpet break is over Do we have time for our special guest? Yes we do, we have one more number and we are going to bring up a very special guest we have Minister Jacob Youngblood Levesque. Youngblood, get up here, boy. And this song is dedicated to a good friend of mine, Cheapskate PW, Mike Statton. Mike, wherever you are, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> and this song is called Cheapskate Mike. Thank you. 